Okay, we're good now. Sorry. I don't want to take a chance to get in trouble again. I was going to get in trouble with BC, so I was going to get in trouble with. <laughs> okay, let's go back to fishing. Back to fishing. Back to fishing. did I do? Did I close up my... No, here it is. I just had it in the wrong place. Thank you for bearing with me, y'all. I do stupid things sometimes. Most time when I've got it on screen capture, BC will tell you. Okay, we'll start again. Good morning, good morning, the best to you each morning. K E W L O W good Kellogg, best to you. Mike, get better. Please. I wanna tell y'all something, there's still I know. Well, the thing it is, the coach is putting pitchers out there that with, you know, ERAs of 13 and 10 and 12 and, you know, giving them some game experience. That doesn't help the situation. They've already got it locked in, probably number one seed in the playoffs. And if they don't get swept in the playoff, they'll make it to Omaha, be a good high seed. Then they'll get swept. <laughs> <laughs> oh lordy Vanderbilt will probably make it Vanderbilt will probably sweep them that was interesting that little bit of video was, was from Tennessee that's cool That would that would be a bloodbath. I just what I don't understand is why not just Tennessee but so many of the other teams, good hitters swing at balls in the dirt. I mean the way they're swinging, you know they're swinging down like they're trying to hit it with a nine iron. I I'm sorry, or up here in their eyes, just cause you can see it doesn't mean you can hit it. I don't understand it. I'm sorry. These guys get scholarships just to play baseball. And when they get out there, it's, it's almost like they forgot everything they learned for the first 18 years of their life or whatever. What high school and travel ball coaches just harp on them to, you know, anything above your hands, you don't swing at. Anything below your knees, you don't swing at. <laughs> My son said that there was a, he was watching the game, I forget who it was. And they put a left-handed batter, a freshman, first plate appearance. First pitch, bam, three-run homer. And he said it was just about his ankles. Said he looked like he hit it with a golf club. But said it just sailed. And I said, well, that's the way Daryl Strawberry used to hit his. He liked him just above his ankles, really, really low, so he could get a lot of down power. But that's the way he hit. But a lot of college kids now, you just watch them. They, they balls will da bounce in the dirt in front of the plate, and they swing at it. Whatever. 
Oh, but uh, Stallions won again last night. Birmingham Stallion, that's uh, a police friend of mine. His son is Jojo Tillery on the Stallion. He's a corner, cornerback. And he hit one guy and knocked him out of bounds. Whew, man, he laid the weather, leather on him, I tell you. And he almost had two interceptions. He'll get one. He's a good ball player. Nice guy, too. He got asked to walk on uh, last preseason for the Titans. And he played in three games, I believe it was. Then he got a contract with the uh, a Canadian football team. And Canada locked down the border so he couldn't go to Canada. Couldn't play. If he'd already been there when they locked down the border, he'd have been playing Canadian football. Making good money. Their minimum is $100,000 a year up there. That's pretty good money. Even if you sit on the bench. Come on, fish. We're going to go over and catch some fish here in a minute. It's not where, it's the time. Oh, we're getting almost there. I put it at 6 o'clock, although 7 o'clock usually when they start hitting the larger fish. But if I start at 7, they don't. I ain't figured that part out yet. I guess I got to get used to the bait. I don't know. It's ones and zeros. RNG. That's what it all boils down to. But that do. Excuse me. <sighs> I slept a little over five hours straight last night before I woke up. Get up, go to the bathroom, go back to bed. That's a long time for me. But there's a good side by getting up a couple times during the night. I used to sleep 8 or 10 hours and wake up. My back hurt. Oh, Lord, it hurt from laying so long. But when I get up a couple times during the night and then go back to bed, and go back, I don't have any trouble going back to sleep. And then get up in the morning, my back doesn't hurt. And I like that. Anyhow, what I was saying earlier before I started talking about the blood moon, there is a one of my followers on here uh, Husker fan he and his wife had COVID and they haven't he hasn't been on here for a long time and I just I pray that he and his wife are okay that they didn't succumb to the COVID Mike's still here so that's good he hasn't succumbed yet praise the Lord Oh, a gap top cell. A trophy gap top cell. Oh. Oh, a unique six six bitcoins. That's only the second one of those I caught since Friday. That's pretty cool. Do do do. At least it's coins. It's better than no coins. Da 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 da. There you go. There you go. Still here. All we can do is all we can do, Mike. Faith. Faith and prayer. Good medicine. Good medicine. I'm not much of a trout fisher person, so I'll either make catching fish or I won't. <laughs> I'm really not any kind of real fisherman. There's people that, man, they just put hours and hours and hours of practice in figuring out techniques and baits and lures and whatever, and they deserve to do good. But they still have to get in the right room with the right RNG or all that time is go to naught. It's like double knot spy is a double knot spy, not not. 
Jethro Bodine said he's going to be a double knot spy. <laughs> yep, there you go. Are you at Falcon or uh, White Moose? I think at white at the Falcon the best I look I have is with it. What is it? Quarter ounce, eight ounce spinner. Bullet spinner, yeah. The black and yellow. See down south, yellow is yeller. Here, yeller, come back, yeller, the best. Oh, Alaska. Okay. Best dog on dog in the West. Huh, I don't know why it held that message. It says Alaska. Mike Henson said Alaska. Interesting. Mike Henson Interesting. said Wow, L-O-L. Yeah. Why, why did it have, you spelled it right. I don't understand that. And it added a permitted term. Inter interesting, interesting. State name flag. That's a first. Yeah. We do it on my stream. You know, we, we have a lot of firsts. <laughs> In my games, too. First bug. I tell you, that's why they call me Bob the Bug Five. This is This is okay. We're going to go. We got a little bit of money. We're going to skip a few days. I come here to fish coins. I didn't come here to... I don't care. Should I wait? Yeah, let's give it a little bit more time. Can't dance. I'd like to get the uni black and uni red so I have close to 100 bait coins. Believe it or not, one time Saturday, and I, you know, I don't make, make note of weather and uh, barometric pressure, I caught five unis in a row. Three black drum and two red drum. Five in a row. Man, that was cool. Had over 200 bait coins in those five fish. I like that. Three in a row was the most I'd ever caught before. And it was a rarity. But it catch five in a row. And I did not change time. It was at one or after another at the same time. Without changing rooms or times or anything. I tried to picture, take a picture where you could see it. On the, excuse me. Or the chat screen. This is Windows 10. Oh man, I thought I turned that thing off. Sorry, y'all. If I turn that off, let's get rid of it. I think this is it. I think this is it. Maybe. Let's find out. It's the first time I was fishing out there by that sunken barge. And that plane came over. It like scared me to death. I didn't know what in the world was going on. I thought I was being attacked. I just... <laughs> surprise, surprise. Do 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 do. Our church is having a, a, a memorial golf tournament in honor of our music pastor that died of COVID several months ago. EAC underscore Cox said, probably caught that many unis because they can still do fun rod stands in a fisherman. Yeah. Cobra 325 
Hey, Cobra. Hello, Cobra. Hope you had a good weekend. But anyhow, it's like $90. And the proceeds are going to go to help uh, repatriate uh, Jewish people to Israel. And I thought about playing in it, talking to my wife. And then last night I got thinking, man, I can't go two holes where I have to use a bathroom with my enlarged prostate and floating kidney. So there wasn't no sense of me getting on a golf cart bouncing up and down across the golf course there ain't that many trees at this <laughs> at this golf course where they're going to play so I figured I just wouldn't do it better part of intelligence or valor or whatever you want to call it <sighs> comes with getting old y'all Older. Come on, fish. I'm getting tired of waiting. Well, not really. If you're fishing, it'll teach you what? Patience. Number two P, patience. Do, 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 do. Besides, we're just, we're talking anywho. But I would like to know about Husker Pan. I really would. Boo -doo -doo. Now normally when I used to fish here a lot this farming I put two large minnows on this marker here to the left and two large cut over here to the right but just fishing for bait coins I put two of the large cut over here to the right. Nope that's not a uni. That's just a common. But you got to catch the common and get them out of the way so you can get at the unis. Kind of like the gar down in Louisiana. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, are you out there big fish I think you're out there what time am it ain't gonna wait much longer you get past the, the strike hour yeah let's move on this time we're walking to New Orleans dun, dun, dun. Walking to New Orleans. I'm going to go to a rainy day in the evening. Rainy days and Mondays always get me down. Talking to my friends and feeling low. Sometimes I want to quit. Nothing ever seems to fit. What day do we want to be on? Rainy days and Mondays always get me down. We'll go to day 11. Holy smokes, day 11 and 13. That's two of them we want, so let's go to day 11. I'm going to keep track of where I'm at. Oops. There we go. <laughs> Da 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 be five. Let's just do it this way. That's easier in it. Since we don't have to. Okay, day eleven. We're gonna be at six o'clock in the evening. There we go. 
Now, let's see if we can get some action. Rainy days and Mondays always get me down. Down, down, down. Come up, number three. I tried to think of a place where I can get more unis, some more bait coins, and I couldn't really think of a place where I can catch more than right here. Uh, I don't really like 52. That's too close. So I started fishing here. I thought, we'll see what's happening. Wow. I liked it. Okay, fish, come on. Hey, Skeeter! Well, it depends on how quick you're catching those unis there at uh, Weeping Willow. It just, you know, it's just personal preference. I don't do real good. Well, BC showed me how to catch. Uh, see, we don't have, I'm on the fisherman. I don't have a whole lot of choice. I can't. There ain't no you. There ain't no weeping will on here. Yeah, but how many how many bait coins are you getting? That's what that's what what I'm fishing for. Yeah, I don't have weeping willow here. But BC gave me a formula for the uh, for the carp. It is. I didn't think it was. My bad. My bad. I thought th I thought this was the last one that went. I don't get bait coins unless from rewards I got about seventy BC. Okay. Well see that's what I'm fishing for. Here again on on the fisherman I'm ah, gaff top sale. I'm just fishing for bait coin mainly if I get Catch other fish and get money. That just helps me defray expenses. But in about an hour and a half of game time, because I have to start at six o'clock. Because what did I just do, dummy? Because I usually catch one just before seven. That's true. Oh, that's expensive setups, yeah. Carp rods and reels and hooks and and the mixture. Oh, I ain't got that much money. <laughs> Here's this is a cheap way of farming for for Bitcoin. How about that? Does that fit the bill? <laughs> No, uh, let's see if I catch one here. I'll show you. I, I get unis. Any unis I get, I'll get bait coins in the fisherman. Don't get money. Get XP and bait coins. That's the one thing I like about the fisherman. I'll catch one here in a minute and show you. <laughs> I promise. I promise. Wish we could do that on everything else. Yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? I don't know though. When you need money and you can make it to the Congo and catch a uni Nile perch and make forty-five, forty-seven thousand dollars, and and that's pretty nice. And get all that forty-something thousand XP. That's pretty nice too. But Lord, can you imagine how many Bitcoins you'd get for a Nile Perch Uni? You'd get a 
150 200 bait coins for one fish <laughs> You are correct. Once they got to uh, Blue Crab, they just no longer updated. They, they haven't made any changes or anything. No updates, no nothing. But it's fishing. That's true. That is true. And I that happened to me when they first opened it up. No, when we were first testing. I'm sorry. And the first uni arapaima I caught, I couldn't keep because my net was too small. And one of the other testers, Digital, Digital's, horse laughed me. Horse, horse laughed me. Hello, Antonio. How are you this morning? I bet you're Italian, aren't you? Or are you Greek? It didn't say this is your first time chatting here, so you must have been here before. The Antonio leads me to believe Italian, and the Maximo leads me to believe Greek. Just a guess. Yeah, got to repair. It costs to repair, but it repairs cheaper than buying. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, Digital's horse laugh me. Said, "Didn't you check the new equipment? Whenever you get a new lake, there's always new equipment." And sure enough, that's where we got that thirteen hundred pound plus net, and I didn't put it so I lost that I got the XP but I lost the money and those big uni arapaima that's some good money too uh, looks like a trophy that might be a uni nope trophy you can tell by the way they fight I've been playing the game too long, haven't I? <laughs> when you can tell the side of a fish by the way it fights, that's, that's been playing the game too long. Uh, you can't ever play a game too long, though, unless you get bored with it, or it gets bored with you. If you get bored with this game, or get upset, just go find something else to play. If you want to get upset with a game, try that... Uh, Oh lordy. The only thing I seen on the fishermen is that you have to use coins for your repairs. Some of them yes. Some of them yes, some of them no. Depends on what the item is. Well, then what is what is the one where you you drive cars in an arena playing soccer? What's that game? See, I don't have a a controller. I had to use keyboard. Yeah. What is that game? No. Probably. Yeah. That's a little tiny dude, isn't it? <laughs> The bait, the bait was bigger than the fish. Yeah, that's it. Rocket League. I, t I downloaded that. I got it free somehow. I think it was on Epic Games. Every, you know, once a month they put up a free game. I might have got it that way. But anyhow, I downloaded a, a spreadsheet for controls. And... Like I said, I don't have a, a controller. I have to use my keyboard and mouse. 
Oh man, that that was. Whoo -whoo. I think I've tried three games. It got beat all three of them. I actually scored one goal, but it was a ricochet. The other guy was trying to put it in the net and hit my car and went in the net. So I got. I got. <laughs> Yeah. I've got a couple other games on Epic. One was uh, Jurassic Evolution. That game, you know, those type of building games, whatever, just not my forte. I could never get a power station connected to the buildings. And I did get one dinosaur egg to hatch. So I put my dinosaur out in a field there beside the facility and build a fence around it, an electrified fence, and put up light poles running power from pole to pole to pole to the building and never could get it electrified. So I kind of said, well, phooey. So I left, came back the next day, and my dinosaur was gone. It has escaped. <laughs> Hope it wasn't eating people in the park. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't get the farming simulator. I grew up on a farm. Here we go. Nope. Nope. Come on. Come on. Nope. Not a uni. I remember hard work, long days, hard work, up early. Yep. There we go. Nope. Trophy. Thought it was gonna be a uni. The way as big as its mouth was. Up early, to bed late. Up early, to bed late. One thing I liked about it, though, Granddaddy had a old Jeep pickup truck, and I would steal it when nobody knew what I was doing and go to the lake about 12 miles away and go swimming. <laughs> yeah, I was 12, 13, 14, somewhere along in there. Wasn't supposed to be driving, but I knew all the back roads, so everybody knew where all the cops stayed. So I never got caught, didn't have any problem. Here we go, here we go. Now we got to see any. <laughs> well, that's stealing is borrowing without permission. Is that the same thing as stealing? Hell, if it is, that's what I did. I borrowed without permission. Yep, this a uni. Da 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 I gotta go down here once while I see if I got a line hooked up. Cause I, on a fisherman, I can still fight two fish at the same time, and most of the time I get both of them in. Not like on the fisherman. I mean, a fishing planet or win ten. There we go, there's 42. And we got another on three. That should be the black uni. They usually come one right, one right after the other. I've got one on two also. So let's fight one at... I don't know. I don't think I really know what you're talking about. Sorry. Y'all ought to know by now that I'm not a gamer. I'm just a fisher person. <laughs> Got two unis on now. Hope they're both black. They... Give me more bait coins. Da, da, da. See now on a fisherman, I mean on fishing planter on win 10, I'd have done lost one of these. Come on, come on. Da, 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 da. Low, low line tension. Boat like nets or traps, I think. 
Oh, okay. I don't guess it. Oh, I saw somebody on uh, Twitch, you know, over on the left-hand side where it shows you who's playing what and how many followers or viewers. I saw that. Fishing Sim. Yep, I sure did. I didn't watch it, but I saw somebody was playing it. I just, we're just hoping that, not hoping, but we're asking, more than one of us testers are asking for uh, deep sea fishing, the next waterway. I don't see it really happening, but you never know. Da -da 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 These are fighting pretty good. They're fighting like they're both black. Black drum. Da 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 dee dee dee. Da 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 dee. Da 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 da. Come on, get weak, one of you. Ain't gonna do it, are you? Da 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 dee. Come on, come on. Come on, come on to Papa, come on to Papa. Got them both around 50, 60, something. Ah. Yeah. We definitely need a bigger boat. <laughs> And you'd have to be able to troll, like really trolling, you know, with without the rod holder being, being on the side of the boat. You can't troll really good with all your equipment on the side of the boat. It needs to be on the back. Wow, where'd that fish go? Come on, come on, come on. You're mine, come on, come on. How big are you? 66. Now we got one on four. Da 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 side you are. Uh, you're a common. We're going to let you go. Skeeter, you Pay attention to this one. Marlin fishing I've seen on YouTube once. I guess that's the kind of stuff that mechanic will be for. Yeah. And bluefin tuna. Another black. 66 coins. Good XP with them fish, too. Yep, thank you. See, I told you. They're there. Just after 7 o'clock. I'll show you something here in just a second. Here I am, red drum, red drum, red drum. Now I was just there on the board just a minute ago. Now I always come back at all fish again. Black drum, where's the black drum? Black drum. Here we go. Oh, it dropped down to four. Oh, 102. Wow, that is a big black drum. I got my three hundredths of a pound. Okay, and red drum. Red drum, red drum. Let's do it this way. Here it was. Number two. 80 pounds. <laughs> it's possible. It is possible. I think I have to skip a day here then. Let's see what we got here. Oh, see there, 174. I like that. You know, there's an easy way of doing this. I got scissors. Uh, it's, <coughs> it's my handy box. Y'all know what a handy box is? Oh, 
come on a LED outside light to hang over my garage door. I had one out there and it kind of went haywire. The uh, motion detect messed up and it just stayed on all the time. That was LED, but I don't like it on all the time because that doesn't dissuade people from coming up and messing with our vehicles. But if a light goes off and on, then it will. That's my theory. And I'm sticking with it, John. So I bought this LED light. It has brown. Well, that's what I use, 7 on. But this is a handy box. You mount this up, and you, well, look, why in the world would I put the... Oh, they got plugs here. Okay. I mean, why would they put the thing here with plugs open? You get what rain in that one. You have four plugs. How many plugs do I got? I got four. Okay. See, I'll, I'll, I'll mount this on my garage, just above the garage. Run my wires through here, power wire. Uh, hook them up to the light, and then mount the light in here on the inside of the handy box and silicone it around here so it doesn't get leak and then around here next to the wood where it doesn't leak and hopefully that that light will last longer than two days <laughs> now, the other one lasted eh, a couple years i guess it did pretty good for 30 something dollars but it got to where like i said it's staying on all the time and that does not dissuade anybody it wants to Come and mess with your property. And I've already got the Romex up there from that other light, so I won't have to run new Romex. But I like that. That stuff's hard to work with. It's so stiff. Okay. I think I have to skip a day and go to the next day, don't I? That's where I'm at. Okay, I want to go the next day. Da -da 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 -da. Make sure I went the right day. Yep, I see the rain. I see the rain. I see the rain. We go to 6 p.m. Da -da -da. 174 bait coins. See, that's what I like about it. That puts me almost to 2,000. 1,900. Something like that, somewhere around that. 103 pounds. That is a nice, nice fish. That really is. I wonder, I hadn't tried a huge cut down here on uh, Fishing Planet or Win 10. Either PC version or the Win 10 version. See what huge cut would do here. That would be cool. Experimentation, experimentation. Well, I'm glad the handy box came in. I thought about buying one of those uh, light bulb cameras, but I did a research and and they're just they're flaky. They're real flaky. They either don't. I imagine so. That's a big. That's a big drum. I don't think my PB is anywhere near that. I think my PB is like a hundred and one or something. Let's see. Oh, don't know on here. Sorry. It's right around a hundred and one, I believe. So one hundred and three is way to go. And I haven't on any platform caught a tarpon over 139 pounds and I don't know how long. I don't know if they changed the max on it or what. Let's see what it is on here. Tarpon is going to be down here. Tarpoon, tarpoon. Well, there's 149. Yeah, right around here, 139 is the biggest one I've caught in a, down here in a long time. I caught a 154 pounder the first day I come down here when they when I could come down here when they opened it up, and it was over here along these 
What are those things called? Hmm. My brain just went dead again. These trees that grow up out of the water. Anyhow, if I long in there, I caught 154 pounds. I got so excited I didn't mark it. <laughs> Ball dropper. Hey, Maul. Mangroves. There you go. Thank you, Maul. Hello, welcome. Hope you had a good weekend. Hope, 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 hope. Trophy. Trophy. I don't know. It's fighting like it might be a small uni. Nope, trophy. If you don't get out to 50 feet before it starts coming back, it's just just a trophy. Da 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 dee dee dee. Well done, Papa. Have a good day, all. Thank you, Skeeter. Thanks for dropping by. God bless you. Take care. Stay well. Be safe. And we'll catch you next time. Stay COVID free, you and your family and your loved ones. You're welcome anytime. Good morning, Jal. Hello, hello, hello. That's like a buddy of mine, we say, when things were slow, say, hey man, let's just walk down to the barbershop and smell the dudes that come out. <laughs> Do -do 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 -do. Small town, Indiana. The first town I lived up, only had a population about 800. That was Argus. Argus, Indiana. Oh, no, I'll tell you, that was even lower than that. It was Lake of the Woods before we moved to Argus. Lake of the Woods population around 400. It just people lived around the lake, a little lake. Uh, that's why they call it Lake of the Woods. Let me see what it is now. My, my genius. My brain. What is the current population of Lake of the Woods, Indiana? Da -da 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 -da. I have Minnesota. Oh, see, now I can't do anything on my phone for catching fish. It's that, that's just a crime. <laughs> Come on, get in here so I can get this other one, please. Four times out. See, this is the money. Got to have the money to do other things. Although the nice thing about it is we don't have to use bait coins on the fishermen to go from. Whoo! That took off, didn't it? That might be a uni. I believe it is. I believe it is. Lake of the Woods, Virginia. Lake of the Woods, Illinois. Wisconsin, Virginia, Lake County, Indiana. Maybe it's too small, they don't even have it on here. Lake of the Woods, Indiana population. There we go. Turn it sideways. It ain't going to go sideways. There we go. Well, what can I put on here? Put my magnifying glass on my keyboard here so it can bite the fish. There we go. So I can look. <laughs> Not available. <laughs> it's so small. Oh, that's funny.
So let's try Argus. There's a trailer manufactured Argus, but it might not have a population for them. What is the current population of Argus, Indiana? Yeah, they make Chris Crafts house trailer. 1,799. Woohoo! <laughs> That's about twice what it was when I lived there. Ah, Lordy. And then we moved to the another town by Lake Culver. I don't remember yeah, the population there. It wasn't very much. Because the elementary school, junior high, and high school were all in the same building. Not the same room, just the same building. <laughs> it wasn't that small. How big are you? How big are you? Here we go. 68 pack. Da 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 dee dee dee. And I forgot which one this was. Well, we'll put it in number three. And see if it's number two. Nope, one number two. Good, good and bad memories. Good memories from the fun I had, snowball fights, building the snow forts, uh, playing on ice, sledding, two attempts at skiing, uh, gave that up in a hurry. The only mountains, quote mountains or hills, where we lived was where the interstate went up and over, or uh, excuse me, an overpass went up and over the interstate. Or a big, not necessarily, they didn't have interstates in. <laughs> Just a major road. Do you get points on windows and skiing doing that? Nope. Just on the fishermen. Sorry. Mike Henson. Sir. No. Yeah. No, this is just the fishermen. Yeah. Yeah, that would that would that would be nice. That would be nice. I agree, I agree. But anyhow, this is just just fun fishing. I know where the speckled peacocks are, but they're they the unis there don't give you as much bait coins and they're a lot harder to catch than, than these drum. Besides, you all know I like bottom fishing. Bottom fishing, float fishing. Lazy man's fishing. My fingers get too tired when I'm working with lures. And I sure do wish we could clip lures while we were fishing. That would be nice too, so you could hit the same spot repeatedly. You know, not too many years ago, maybe 10, they put out reels, bait casting reels, that you could tune them to the weight of the lure. Oops, missed that one, didn't let it lock out. And that way, whenever you cast, as soon as the lure hit the water, the spool would stop spinning, you didn't wind up with backlash, because there was no no pull on the on the line. That was, I thought that was pretty cool. I used to have some really nice bird nests, bait casting. That's why I got to really, really like to enjoy open bale with spinning rods. I call them open bale. Cal 273. Said, oh, do I know about tied fingers? <laughs> yeah. I have bad arthritis in these these joints right here and right here just these two fingers and when I make a fist it takes me a while to make a fist I, it's a good thing I don't fight anymore 
<laughs> that would probably hurt a lot. But when I when I make a fist, then I have to open it up slowly, or it's or it's painful. And this is what I use to try to help it. I can't take ibuprofen as my other medications. I use this stuff right here. It's called Mutai oil. And uh, they sell it at uh, Asian stores. And it's what the kickboxers and, and uh, MMA fighters use to uh, soothe their aches and pains on their bones and joints and whatever after they've been fighting. And it works. It's about 12 bucks a jar. It lasts a long time. It smells like horse liniment. It's what it smells like. I don't know if you ever rub down a horse with liniment after a, a good hard ride, but that's exactly what it smells like. Do any of y'all ever have problem with leg cramps? Which is usually due to uh, low, what's it called? Electrolytes. Low electrolytes in your system. And it doesn't matter whether you baseball or football. Yes. Would you like to get rid of those cramps, not worry about them? There is some stuff at the Academy called PJ Juice. P J juice. It's a little bottle, it's like, I don't know, three, four dollars. Yes. Uh, I don't know if they sell it online. I'm sure they probably do it on Amazon. It's called PJ juice. And you drink a bottle of it, and if you're doing a lot of exercise, uh, the kids down in South Alabama, South Mississippi, they have a lot of heat and a lot of dehydration. They'll drink one 30 minutes before a football game and they'll go the whole game and not get any cramps. And the other team, you'll see the kids laying on the field, you know, rubbing their legs from cramps. But the PJ juice, uh, basketball players use it too. Uh, the little community college here in town, Chattanooga State, uh, I know the, the basketball coach, he's a real good friend of mine. And my buddy, Philippe Gonçalves, the one the Brazilian kid that lived with me, got a scholarship to play there well they were having trouble with cramps because they were they were doing a lot of running they, they run like 10 or 15 miles every practice every day to build up for playing a game and part of what they would do is they, they'd run behind the school down the Chickamauga Dam and then run up the steps and I think it was 90 something steps up to the road level above the steps and cramps were really really bad so I had heard that people drink pickle juice. Literally drink the juice out of pickle jars. That'll get rid of cramps too because there's a lot of salt in it. But you had to drink an awful lot of it. Well, I did some more research and found this stuff at the Academy called PJ juice. And what it is mainly does is it puts electrolytes back in your body. So I gave my buddy Philippe a couple of bottles and told us the next time before you go running about 30 minutes before drink your bottle of this and see what happens no cramps and then when he told the coach about it, the coach went out and bought a case of it <laughs> and, and before every game because they run basketball player run 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 did like tennis and before every game he would have the kids about 30 minutes before while they were talking he'd have them drink a, a bottle of PJ juice no more cramps so for whatever that's worth. I used to get them real bad when I was younger. I mean, I, they wouldn't be up to the middle of the night and I'd have a knot in my calf like this. I mean, it big old knot. And I'd jump out of bed. And what, you, what I did, the way I got rid of them when I was younger is I would stomp my heel on the floor, which popped my leg straight. And it didn't feel too good. But that's the way I got rid of them. Just a quick jerk like that with my heel. Heel on the floor. My toe pointed. <clears throat> just jerk my leg straight and it get rid of it. L273. Says, what was the name of that stuff for sore fingers? Let's see. Let me get over here. There you go. Mutai. 
just go into an Asian market and tell them that you want to buy some Muay Thai oil and they'll look at you because most of the time they don't even speak English very well. I just look for a little, little yellow bottle with a green kind of lettering like it on that. I don't know if you can see that very well, but that's the Muay Thai. Or tell them that you want the uh, oil that the MMA fighters use or the kickboxers use. And they'll know what you're talking about then. Ah, here's a uni. Yep, just after seven. Oh. Uh, trophy. You're welcome. Now, it stinks. Oh, it is a uni. Don't get me wrong. It, like I said, it smells like horse liniment. But it, you just rub it in. And when you turn the... the, the uh, container up to sprinkle it out it not very much comes out so you got to shake it a couple times because it's got a little little tiny plastic opening and see I've been using this for a couple of weeks now and it probably hadn't used a quarter of an ounce but it's you definitely don't want to wipe your eyes when you got this stuff on your fingers it wouldn't feel too good but you're more than welcome. That Muay Thai may be hyphenated or it may be two words. That I'm not sure. Do -do 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 -do. But it helps me. Like I said, I'm not a doctor. I'm not giving medical advice. Advance. <laughs> but it helps me. Ah, uh, lordy, lordy, lordy. It's supposed to be close to 90 here in the middle of the week. Well, now that we got more people on here, did any of you stay up last night to watch the blood moon? Or could you see the blood moon? We well, can see a good good shot over here in Tennessee. And I recorded uh, from a an observatory in Chile. Ditto. I understand that. Have I got two unis already? Oh yeah, I got my two. So let's go on to the next one. Let's see what the weather, we gotta have the right weather. Man, I gotta go to day 19. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 Oops, wrong one. Or I can leave, come back, and start all over at the beginning. Day one. It cost me eight thousand to go to day nineteen. I don't remember what it cost me to travel here. I don't think it's eight thousand. So let's do that. Then I just have to reset all my my rod stand and clips again. So let's see. Da 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 dee. That was a hundred two. So let's see how many I had that got this trip. It's gonna be over two hundred. But you're gonna get close to getting me to two thousand bait coins. Seven hundred thirty-six. Woohoo! Two thousand and five. What's the travel? Yeah, see, it cost me less to travel, and it did it skipped eight days. Da -da 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 -da. Uh oh, it's not day one. Day one is. Why don't we try the morning? <laughs> yeah, I was. I really was. 
We live and we learn, don't we? Let's see. Okay, I'm on the way. I don't like to get in anybody's way. Hercules was howling while ago at something. I love it when he howls. Oh, oh! He changes pitch, changes tune. It's hilarious. Oh, I keep forgetting. I'm not on the other games. I can't open it up and get a map on my, on my screen on the boat. Oop, that's not the one. It's the next one. Da 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 dee dee dee. Da 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 dee. Da 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 dee 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 dee. We'll try the morning this time. See if we can get anything in the morning. When the morning comes, y'all be here when the morning comes. When the morning comes, I'll be here when the morning comes. You know I ain't gonna run. I bought this house now. You know I'm boss. I ain't no hate gonna run me off. Let's see. Let's go. That. Oh, I still got my clips. Okay, cool. Still made up my mind to stay. Ain't no Hank gonna run me away. Bought this house now, you know I'm boss. Ain't no Hank gonna run me off. That's an old, old song, too. <laughs> From an old, old guy. <coughs> that spray, that Clonage spray that I get is a prescription link. Makes my nose twiggly and my throat dry. I guess that's part of what it's supposed to do. Common. <laughs> A little common even. As opposed to Well, you know, there's potatoes, there's mashed potatoes, french fry potatoes, potatoes, and commentators. <laughs> Not all the same thing, especially the commentators. Yuck, 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 yuck. Bad joke from an old man. Oh, it's liking that number one rod right now, isn't it? Y'all ever notice when you got, like when you're car fishing or whatever, if you got all your lines out, you got the same, oops, a gaff top cell. You got all your rods out and everything, and they, they keep hitting the same rod. Over and over and over. Same distance, same bait, same size hook, same everything. But they'll hit that one rod. When I'm in Bolivia, it seems like it's rod number two they want to hit a lot. Here it seems to be three, really. Well, I hope y'all can come back and join me Friday morning. If life don't get in the way, we'll have a drawing for another 30 days premium. That'll be Friday morning. Don't cost nothing to enter. And Jal and K-Dog can tell you, it's easy to win. If the night bot smiles on you. 
another gap. Oh, I thought it was a gap. It's not. It's a red drum. Oh, the black one. I think I still got enough money left over to do it seven more times. Uh oh. Baileyton, Tennessee. I have no idea. Wonder what I saw the answer and see what they're trying to sell me, but I thought, eh. They're trying to make a living. Telemarketers, it's all about numbers. I sold a cemetery property for some time and it's the same thing it's all about numbers some you're going to sell some you're not but you have to get in front of enough people and uh, they'll have a need now the next one should be a trophy black if the way things usually go happen we'll see here in a minute I had a job as once sold insurance for six or seven years and I enjoyed that because if people need something and realize they need it, then all we have to determine is, is what you can afford and what you want to cover. Whether it's a uh, a term more term insurance to cover a house mortgage or, or something like that, a burial policy, something like that. But you can tell within five to ten minutes whether somebody has a need. And if they don't really need it, I'm not one of these salesmen. I stick my foot on the back of your neck and pull your arm and make you buy it. That's not me. If you need it and you want it, then, and we forgot what you can afford, then we can we can work together. Because there's no sense of selling you something you can't afford, don't want, because you're not going to keep it, and it'll lapse, and then you just threw your money away, and the insurance salesman gets hit with a lapse. And you want your sales percentage to be higher than your laps percentage, or they'll get rid of you. <laughs> Finally, I just quit. Went to work through a temp agency at McKee Baking as a glorified janitor. Paid the bills. Wound up working. Sorry, I said ing. Put an ing on the end of it, so it's not a four-letter word. I stayed there almost 13 years. That's where I retired from. And I, I liked I liked the job there. I liked the people. The last, I don't know, let's see, six months, year? The last 11 years, almost 11 years, was on third shift. I am not a politician. So that worked out real good. Because if I'd have been on first shift or second shift, I'd have probably got... When they fired you, they just... The personal manager or the, your boss, your supervisor, whatever, would just ask you for your ID card and they'd walk you out the door. That's it. You had a job no more. I saw supervisors. Your superintendent would walk them out the door. And to be a supervisor, you had to be there 20 years or so. And just all of a sudden, you're gone. Where, oh, where are you tonight? Oh, why did you leave me here all alone? I searched the world over and I thought I'd found true love. But you met another and <laughs> you was gone. Come on, hook up number four. We 
We should be getting close to uni time if it's going to hit it in the morning. I you met another and you was gone. Can you read lips? Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, four hook up. Come on, spring rod, get up there and latch in. Almost. Almost. There it is, latched in. Oh, bigger fish. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Maybe a trophy. Da -da -da -dee 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 -dee. We're a uni. Oh, we. Ho, ho. Thank you very much. The red drum don't fight as hard. Apparently, huh? Well, I looked to see if there were any comps that we could do this morning. And it wasn't nothing I was interested in. Nothing I thought I might even be able to do with any degree of success. So I figured, yeah, whatever. And the next ones are at 12 o'clock, so. That was on all three platforms I looked. No luck. No luck, no luck, no luck. I'm going to tell you something. These LED bulbs are not supposed to put out any heat, but mine put out heat. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe it's, I'm having a heat flash as an old man. I don't know. Turn my fan on. Forgot to bring me any meal down this morning. I used the last of what I had yesterday, I believe it was, or the day before. I don't have anything to flavor my water. I just don't like the taste of water here. There's a gentleman that's, uh, I do business with that's buying some property from me that says he'll be thrilled to be able to dig a well on the property because he does not like city water. He drinks bottled water exclusively. Which ain't too cheap, but he's he's pretty well off, so it doesn't bother him. I don't know if I can handle bottled water all the time either. Oh, a friend of mine, that Brazilian kid I was telling you about earlier, Felipe Gonçalves, his wife had her baby, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Let me look, make sure it's the right day. Oh, who we got here? Who we got here? Who is Fadex? Fadex. Wow. Well, he's he's looking forward to digging a well on the property, so he can doesn't have to. Yeah. Let's see. Scroll underscores underscore beans. Thanks for following. Thank you very much. Welcome to our family friendly stream. And welcome to our chat. Let's see. Saturday. She was born Saturday at two oh five. She weighed seven seven pounds ten ounces. <laughs> so you must be in the northeast if you're in the the states. A lot of sulfur in the water in the northeast. I remember going up into Maine when I was a, a wee snipper with my mom and my dad when they were delivering house trailers up to Scarborough, Maine. And we stop in the restaurants and truck stops. And first of all, they charge you 50. Now, this is, I'm talking about when I was seven, eight years old. So that's 60 something years ago. 
Oh, okay. Okay. They charge you 50 cents for a glass of water. Now, this is 60-something years ago. 50 cents was a lot of money. And I remember the first glass of water that I drank up there. It had so much sulfur in it, I could, I, when I got it to right here, I could smell it. I took one sip of it. I couldn't, I, it was, I just, I'm sorry, sorry, I can't drink that, Mom. That's 50 cents. That's like $5 now, you know. We got us another uni here. But anyhow, Philippe, she had her baby at home. Which I told my wife, I said, nowadays I don't think that's very smart, but that's what she wanted to do. Because there's it's during childbirth there's so many things that can go wrong with either the mother or the baby. And she probably had a midwife there instead of a doctor. That's my guess, I don't know. As a doctor, I don't think they're going to make a house call. But anyhow, the baby's healthy. Okay, she's a loud little baby. They sent me a video. She got some good lungs. <laughs> and I'm sure his head is about this big. Good kid. Good family. There we go. What we got here? Two. Let's go to the evening. Let's see if we'll catch me in the evening. Where, oh, where are you tonight? Why did you leave me here all alone? I searched the world over and I thought I'd found true love. But you met another and you was gone. Hee-haw! This is the same day. We're just trying to see if this is the evening peak. See if we can catch two more. Eh, worth a try. Don't want to waste any more money than I have to. <laughs> ah, lordy, lordy, lordy. Did I just take a picture? Sometimes when I hit the side button on my phone, it takes a picture of the... No. What do you think of that? That's what the moon looked like here in Tennessee. Is that not cool? Let me see if you can see it. Get over here. Ah. It's hard to see, isn't it? It's too close. It's about the best I can do, y'all. And buddy, it was it was blood red. It was pretty. The next one will happen in two thousand. Twenty-nine. I forget now. Thank you. I cheated. <laughs> yeah. I recorded a video on uh, an observatory in Chile, and it's a pretty cool video. But I wasn't listening to it; I was just watching. And earlier today, I, I post opened it up on here, and the guy was talking. And come to find out, the guy that had was putting the video on YouTube was from Tennessee. I thought that's pretty cool. The Fisher Eddy. I thought I was in this room by myself. I guess not. I hate to be in people's way.
Oops, sorry about the cap. I'm on, uh, went, I'm on, uh, the fisherman. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 de, 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 de. On Steam. To answer your question, I'm sorry. It is on Steam. The fisherman on Steam. Ask me what? Beta, you know, answer large cut, seven odd hood. Okay. It's it's a it's a it's a great great game. I I understood. Believe me, I type terrible. So if anybody can read my typing, I won't have any problem reading anybody else's. <laughs> but anyhow, the uh, first week of this November, I'll be playing for five years. But it's, it's an enjoyable game, and it's also an exasperating game. Because, especially when you know where the fish are, it's like real real fishing. You know where the fish are, and you still can't catch them. Or all of a sudden, something will happen really great, like a 103-pound black drum. Wow. That's just totally, totally awesome. See, I tried to type large cut. I type L A R G W E. <laughs> large we cut. That's Indian, isn't it? Large we. White man speak with forked tongue. Oh, it says forked tongue. <laughs> See, and if I hadn't rubbed that new time on, I couldn't do this. That'd, that'd be too, that'd be difficult. Y'all know what that means in sign language, don't you? That means I love you. I'm just a wealth of useless knowledge, aren't I? And let's see what we got here. Gap top sale. Get in here quickly. Come on. Get in here quickly. Thank you. Another gap top sale. Oh, getting bigger. What are you doing to me here? I guess it helped if I reeled, wasn't it? <laughs> I wasn't reeling. I had my rod up, wasn't reeling. It's a trophy. A trophy, a trophy. Da 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 dee 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 You man the other end. You was gone. Zoom. Bang went old Bessie, the one and only Bessie. Okay. Who had a gun named Bessie? I can travel far and wide with a Bessie by my side. Bang went old Bessie, the one and only Bessie. I can travel far and wide with a Bessie by my side. No guesses? Died at the Alamo. Does that help? 
Born on a mountaintop of Tennessee, green estate in the land of the free. Raised in the woods so he knew every tree. He killed him a bar when he was only three. Davy, Davy Crockett, king of the wild frontier. That's from Walt Disney. Yep. Davy, Davy Crockett, the king of the wild frontier. Off through the woods he's a marching along, making up yarns and a singing a song. He's for fighting and fighting alone. He's mean as a bird and twice as strong. A Davy, Davy Crockett, the king of the wild frontier. I don't remember Daniel, B Daniel Boone's rifle's name. I know it had a name, I'm sure. It wasn't Bessie because that was his wife's name. I think his wife's name was Bessie. Bessie or Polly? I think it was Bessie. Well, this will give me something to do this afternoon. Get my ladder out there and mount this up. Get everything square around. So I can get the light on. Guarantee the light came from China because the directions are kind of almost like pig latin like <laughs> i got a screwdriver here i'll have to seal those too so they won't let the water in uh oh see here we go i can't do nothing without catching fish it's just a shame a shame well couldn't catch that fish did i let me get that back out there. Maybe it'll come back. Get this before it times out. There we go. There we go. There's a uni. Put, put my phone on here and let it catch it. While I'm laboring here with this handy box. You know, I had to put some... Uh, Cough around these plugs. So they don't get water in them. Not a good water and electricity don't go together too good. I always wondered when I was having my job out the bakery why people didn't get electrocuted because there's water everywhere. But they cleaned everything up. Wow, this is a big fish. They cleaned everything a lot with water. Those machines are running. They get water in the panels. They blow a fuse. Nobody got electrocuted. Now, I know everything was grounded good, but they didn't have uh, GFCI, ground fault interrupter on stuff. They just had it grounded good. And I just thought, sure, sooner or later, we're going to get a call down there to fix something. And somebody be laying in the floor as a crispy critter, but it never happened. Thank the Lord. Come on, big fish. That's a black drum. A big black drum. That's a 90 pounder, I bet you, bet you, bet you. Sorry about that noise. Wow, it doesn't run again. Holy samole fish. Are you a hundred pounder? That wouldn't hurt my feelings, would it? Just tap my right mouse button to see if I can't help it come in a little bit. I ain't got nothing on.
this will be my fourth unit of the day here. I'm going to fill my net. Mm, 80, 140 pounds? No, I don't think so. There it goes again. Come on, big fish. Come on, big fish. There we go. Thank you. Thank you very much. How big are you? 92. Good coins, though. Thank you very much. So let's go to the next day. Next coin day. That was two in the morning, two in the evening. Cool, huh? That was six o'clock in the morning, six o'clock in the evening. So let's see how many coins we got there. Da -da -da -da. 176. Ah, good day. That's only three units. I thought I got four. Oh well. Sixteen thousand dollars. That's nothing to sneeze at. Let's see what the next day looks like. Nope. I have to skip a day. Six, no. Now, why would you pull your boat right up there? Thank you. Well, it's, it's, it's called the farming spot. And I know the fish are here, the fish that I want to catch, the, uh, with more, better frequency than other places here at Brew Crab. And I get, I'm just fishing for bait coins. That's, that's just what I'm fishing for. The other stuff that comes along is just uh, secondary. But if you watch uh, any YouTube videos, Hey, Marco, Mr. M. I saw you on late last night. I saw on Discord that you was on close to midnight. Anyhow, uh, if you'll uh, go to YouTube and type in Fishing Planet or the Fisherman Farming, uh, Farming Blue Crab, you'll find out that this is the farming spot at Blue Crab. And I can catch tarpon here if you put large money on. Hey, kill shot. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. My knot bot is touchy. Much more touchy than I am, so don't worry about it. Yep. It's a good place to on uh, Steam PC and on uh, Win 10. It's a good place to farm for money because the fish are pretty consistent here. The morning peat, night peat. And uh, unis. So, on the fishermen come here to farm for bait coins. But any any YouTube video on farming blue crab will put you here. Show you how to get here. Who have we got now? Who have we got now? Goat, 
Xenopon, Xenopon, welcome to our family friendly stream. Thank you for your follow. Are you the greatest of all time? <laughs> That's what GOAT stands for, isn't it? Except there was a lady. Okay. Which version? Okay. Okay. There you go. There you go. There you go. Little self promotion here. I've got about 500 videos on there of a little bit of everything from lower lakes for lower level fisher people or higher level comps just just a plethora of information some of it will even help you <laughs> some of it's just like this just talking and flapping our jaws but when you go on youtube or if you look at mine just type in the fishing or go to the go to here under my uh, here under my videos and at the top type in exactly what you're looking for Oh, cool, 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 cool. The one I'm using now cost me twenty-two hundred. I got it at. Uh, ooh, my brain just went dead. Power. You're welcome. Uh, Cyber Power. Cyber Power in California is where I got it. And the reason I got it was that was the only only way I could get. Well, I got mine at uh, Cyber Power. C Y B E R P O W E R. Cyber Power. And that was the earliest way I could get me a, a 2060 video card. Because they were rare as chicken lips. And I got it Christmas a year ago. And they had a few in stock. And I went ahead and, and got one. Because I was. The older PC I had was. I was getting where. There was so much information on this game that it was loading it down. So I got this. It's got a, uh, a one terabyte uh, hard drive, two terabyte uh, solid state drive. And one of these days, one of my sons, my oldest son's going to come down and and put all everything but my operating system on the on the uh, solid state drive, so everything will run faster. But the video card, man, I like it. I couldn't beat it with a stick. The cost of it alone was about half the cost, half the cost of the system. But it's got RGB fans and uh, I think it's got a either 750 or 900 watt power supply. I forget which motherboard. I've got 32 uh, gigs of RAM. Megs, I'm sorry, three, whichever. I'm not a computer person, y'all. Y'all know that if you've been around. It's gonna be 32 megs, doesn't it? Anyhow, it's a kicker. Well, piddle. I keep forgetting what I'm doing here. I'm trying to get that guy somewhere to aim at. Catching fish. Can't help somebody for catching fish. Uh, 
Might be another in here. These are trophy. There you go. Well, my son builds. I have my my oldest son and next to the youngest son. They both build their own systems. And my oldest son built him an Alienware system. That's <laughs> he plays a lot of shoot 'em and kill 'em up multiplayer games, and they hate him because his system is so fast that he can dodge bullets literally in the game. And he can sneak up behind people and shoot him for the, even though he's there. <laughs> it's a hoss. They put about, I don't know, $2,500, $2,600 in it. But I don't need that much of a system. This, this one will probably be the, the last system I ever buy. Unless it gets zapped. So when lightning starts happening around here, I say, uh-oh, bye, and I shut her down. I've got the power on a good, actually two, surge pressure. It goes into a surge pressor, it powers this surge pressure, and this surge pressure powers my system. So I got two surge suppressors to, to, to protect it, but anything that can go wrong will. Anything that can go wrong will. Oh, Lord, yes all the difference in the world uh, I was getting where I was getting a drag and my, my videos my streaming was lagging and breaking up and uh, for a long time I had a, a bit rate at the top of my tw twitch uh, information and my bit rate the CPU and both the CPU and the GPU were running oh over 90 degrees which is way too hot and Maul Dropper told me that she'd had one that exploded and burned her system up, literally, on fire, burn it up. So I figured I really don't want to take a chance of burning my house down, so better to get something that's not going to do that. And this one doesn't. This is run nice and cool. And unless there's a glitch in the game, got another uni here, unless there's a glitch in the game, I don't have to worry about uh, lagging or something like that now every once in a while it still does but that's the game so what I do is I just shut down and restart the game and it goes away but when Maul told me that had one explode and catch on fire no I didn't that's that's kind of scary so when I first set this system up I kept monitoring the bit rate and the temperature GPU and CPU temperature and they stayed good. I must have missed another number three. I missed probably missed another uni on three. It'll come back. Either it will or it won't. Order me some new headphones from a TV, and then I cancel the order. <laughs> I got some e cans that I have hardwired to my TV, and I'm not sure whether it's the headphones themselves or the jack. It's kind of flaky, so I taped it at an angle where it wouldn't move as much because it, sometimes it. I'd have to move it around so to get the volume right. So, I'd, like I said, I don't know if it's the headphones or the cable jack. So they'll do. When I want I want to watch something with my wife upstairs on her living room, like NCIS or or uh, the Equalizer or FBI some of the shows like that I turn the closed captions on so that I don't have to get it so loud 
that's uncomfortable for her. And last night I got tired of reading closed captions because you can't pay attention to what's, the action that's going on on the screen and read the closed captions. And they were talking real fast. So that's when I come downstairs, turn my TV on, put my headset on. And I can turn it up as loud as I want to where I can hear everybody talk. I wonder if the people that do the music in, in the, the TV shows, if they ever listen to the show or watch the show. Because like on NCIS, sometimes the music is so loud... You can't even hear what the people are saying. And they'll be whispering. And the music's going, da, 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 da. They're whispering. That makes no sense at all. I'm sorry. I guess I'm just finicky. Finicky, finicky. I'll tell you something that I don't appreciate at all. When I watch our church service on TV, or when I used to go to the church, the pat yeah the preacher will be praying and the guy over here on the keyboard is playing music and the preacher's wife will be singing that doesn't show me much respect for the preacher praying or for the respect for our Lord I'm sorry I'm just I'm old school when you pray that's you're showing respect, not playing a keyboard or singing. I'm sorry. That's just that's just the way I think. So I just bow my head and say a little prayer moment and say, forgive them, Lord. There were several members of our church, long time members. I'm talking about my aunt Naomi that finished raising me. She taught some of these people in kindergarten and they were now old people uh, early 60s middle 60s they left the church because and one of them, Clifford a guy that was really really involved in the church we had a food banquet and Clifford was always there helping and doing stuff or any of the meals that we prepared for people he was always there helping just just whatever he could do to help he was retired military and he just he just enjoyed helping people. He quit. Just left the church. He, the last Sunday he was there, I was out at the parking lot in my station, my security station. He came by and said, "Well, it's the last time I'll be here, Bob." And I said, "What's the matter, Clifford?" He said, "This is not a church service anymore. The praise and worship is more like a rock concert, and I don't come to church to see a rock concert." And I said, "Well, I understand that, but say something to somebody." No, they won't listen to me. I'll find me a smaller church that I can enjoy the service. Well, I'm sorry, Clifford. Sorry to see you go. That's the last time I ever saw him. Another guy told me essentially the same thing. And he had been an elder in the church. He just left. He said it's more like a rock concert than a praise and worship service. To each his own. That's, I couldn't listen to it or hear it anyhow because I was out in the parking lot. <laughs> then I found out I could have been watching and listening to it on YouTube and I didn't know it. Oh well. Can't know everything, can we? Oh, I'm out of the fish catching time on I guess it's just going to give me one of a morning. And if I'm lucky, two of an evening. That those days it kind of had that rolling peak of a morning and rolling peak of an evening. I don't seem to have caught, don't seem to catch as many unis for the time spent. It takes longer time. 
This is a quicker catch, less time. I like that. We're going to catch her two here. Good Lord willing, the creek don't rise. And I'm going to get out of here and eat some lunch. Probably going to have some birthday cake and ice cream for lunch. <laughs> there's, there's one piece of my wife's birthday cake left. She didn't like it. Too much icing. And it was yellow cake. And she said, I like chocolate. Remember, I like chocolate. Did you forget I like chocolate? Well, it was strawberry. She liked strawberries. But there was so much tang in the icing that she got a little acid blister. 87? Oh, Lord. That's only 35 years ago. Let's see. That would have made me 40 years old. Hmm. I don't remember anything in the 87. I know where my job was then. I was working for, working, I said ING, didn't say the Fort Edward word, for a bullion dealer, buying and selling gold and silver. Okay, I got a story. One of the things I did for this man was I delivered uh, gold to the refinery at uh, uh, Fairfield, Connecticut, the Handy and Harmon refinery there. I'd fly up deliver this, get it, get in the airport, rent a car, take it up there, deliver it, get, that evening, get on the plane, fly back home. That was on Fridays. And then Monday morning, I would take the receipt into him, and uh, Joe and I deliver so he could uh, pre-sell a percentage of what he figured the gold was going to be there. But when I first started on the job there, I told him, you know, he said, would you steal from me? And I said, if I ever get a chance to take off with a million dollars, I'm gone. And we both laughed. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't steal a penny. But anyhow, about the fourth or fifth trip, now this guy had a very, very dry sense of humor. And some of it was a little off kilter. But anyhow, uh, very, very smart person. And you know, sometimes their, their sense of humor is a little off. But anyhow, one evening or one Friday I delivered I had, if you don't know what uh, salesman sample cases are, you know, they're about, oh, 20 inches long, about 10 inches wide, and uh, maybe 18 inches deep. I had two of those completely full of carat gold, class rings, wedding rings, you know, stuff like that. And I delivered those two satchels up to Handy and Harmon. Well, we figured that it was worth something like $1.2, $1.3 million. I come back the next morning when he was off and laid a receipt on his desk, and he said, what are you doing here? I thought in my mind, oh, Lord, what have I done? I've done something. I'm going to get fired. What am I going to do? What do I do? What do I do? And I said, what do you mean? And he said, you told me that if you ever get a chance to take off with a million dollars, you'd be gone. You delivered $1.2 million to Handy Friday. I just didn't figure you'd be back today. And then he laughed. I want to hit him. I really, I want to punch him in the mouth. But another trip, I had to go, I, I took a cashier's check, partly cashier's check and partly cash. I think I had about 800,000 cash. Flew up to New York. This is back when TSA wasn't even heard of. I mean, they did security and whatever. And I picked up went to a place called Iron Mountain Depository where a lot of people, bullion dealers, would store bullion, gold and silver that they'd buy. Well, I was picking up a thousand Kruger Rands to bring back to the business there near Chattanooga. And I went down, it took me like three or four hours to get down in the vault. They had to check my credentials, count the money and all this stuff. And I went down there. Now, a thousand either 500 one ounce bars or a thousand Krugerrands come in a strapped, well, there's 500 in a box, a black strap, well, the silver is green, but the gold is black strap box, sealed, okay? Well, they brought the two boxes 
for me to put in my briefcase. And I just took out my pocket knife and cut the strap. And the guy said, what are you doing? What are you doing? I said, I'm going to count them. He said, no, nobody ever cuts the strap. I said, it's my tail on the line for a thousand Kruger ants, which at that time was, it was over a million dollars. And I said, if I'm going to be responsible for them, I'm going to count them, make sure they're there. How do I know there's, you didn't have a box full of lead that was delivered here? Well, it's never happened. I said, no, it's not going to happen this time either. So I cut the box and counted every one of them. 500 was in each box. All I had to do was pull the tubes out. There's 25 tubes of 20 coins in each tube. So I, I counted them, put them in the briefcase, and went walking out the door. Now, that's back when you could put a pistol in a carry bag, check it through, pick it up when you got to the airport, put my shoulder holster back on in the bathroom, put my pistol back in, and go on. No problem. Well, New York has what's called a Sullivan Law. And if you get caught with an unregistered pistol in New York, it's one year in prison. Period. There's no go to court, nothing. It's just they arrest you, and you're headed for the big house. Well, I walked out of there, that Island Mountain Depository, and I had, I had a 357 Magnum. A Ruger Black Hawk. That's what I had carried. And uh, I had it in my holster under. I wore a jean jacket. And first of all, by coming out of there with that heavy suit, that heavy briefcase, I just knew that everybody that I walked down the street, well, it's right down from uh, the Wall, the Wall Street. It's Wall Street, right down from Stock Exchange. It's an alley. Wall Street is an alley. It's not a big bustling street. It's an alley. But anyhow. I was just walking down the alley and people coming and going, you know, and I just I just knew that everybody there knew what I had in that briefcase, let alone that I had a pistol under my jacket. So I got in this cab and I said, I need to go to Newark Airport. And the guy looked at me and said, I said, ah, forget it. I got out and walked down, got in another cab. I need to go to Newark Airport. I I got in four or five cabs before I found somebody that spoke, almost spoke English. I said, I need to go to Newark Airport. Newark Airport, yes, sir. And we, so I carried the, the coins on the plane with me. I checked my pistol, unloaded it, checked the pistol through uh, to Chattanooga. No, I worked for that bullion dealer. So anyhow, I uh, got on the plane with the coins in Newark. And uh, on the way back to Chattanooga, I took, had to take a side trip to Washington, D.C. at Dulles Airport to deliver some of those coins to a, another dealer there in Gaithersburg, Maryland. So I walk off the plane go out, get in a taxi, and go over to Mark's business. We do our business. I come back to get on my plane, head back to Chattanooga, and I'm going through security. You know, They do the scanning for bombs and whatever. And when that briefcase came through the other end, the guy said, I need you to open that. I said, no, I'm not opening it. He said, but you have to open it. I said, no, I don't. That's my material in there. I don't have to open it. Well, yes, you do right now. I said, let me explain something to you. You saw what was in there. And if I open it with all these people around here, everybody here is going to know what's in there. And there's a chance I can wind up dead if someone wants to rob me. I said, now, if you want me to open it up, let's get your supervisor out here and let's go into a private room and we can open up in a private room. Well, I don't need to call. I said, if you want me to open it up, you're going to have to call your supervisor. Well, he finally did call his supervisor. And he came out there and said, what's going to be the problem? I said, he wants me to open my briefcase. Well, open it up. I said, no, sir. Let him tell you what's in there that he saw, and you'll understand why I do not. I've got a uh, receipt where I, I picked these up at Iron Mountain Depository, and I'm not going to open this up here where somebody can rob me and kill me to get them. And he said, okay. So he and that, that one guy that was being his real smart aleck jerk, we went back into a little office area, and... I must have missed it. No, I didn't miss one. And uh, I opened it up, 
and he sold a thousand Krugerrands and he said well, where did you get these I said I bought them I bought them from my boss I told him his name where the business was give me his phone number I said give him a call and I showed him the receipt where I paid for him and picked him up and he said well we never had anybody come through I said I'm a bullion I'm a courier for a bullion dealer I worked there I said at that time I apologize four letter word I said that's my job part of my job is to deliver and pick up and he so he called my boss the owner of the company and uh, he told told him what was going on yeah I know what get the soap <laughs> for all y'all that are new here that don't know what he's talking about w-o-r-k is a four-letter word and I'm retired so when I was young <laughs> whenever I would cuss when I was a young and mom would wash my mouth out with soap uh, so that's why we mean get to soap so anyhow he says okay so they finally let me go I get back on the plane well I was, there was a, some kind of a mess up I didn't fly into Atlanta I flew into Knoxville well I didn't have a ticket from Knoxville to Chattanooga so I went and rented a car. Well, that was about the time they were going to have the World's Fair. They were doing all the building and everything for the World's Fair in Knoxville. And uh, I come around uh, I-40 to get on 75 South. And the traffic is, is, they got construction on the interstate and it's getting rid of lanes. Big flashing sign says left lane, singular. I mean right lane. Right lane ends one quarter mile or 500 feet or whatever it was. Well, I just stayed in the middle lane. There's three lanes. I stayed in the middle lane. I go driving down through there, and this Tennessee State drop, Trooper jumps out in front of me, starts waving his arm. Well, I come to a stop, and he looked at me and said, What are you doing? I said, I'm headed for Chattanooga. He said, Did you read that sign back there? I said, It says right lane stop, sir. I closed the head or something like that. Not lanes. So I figured, Well, didn't you see that everybody else was in a left-hand lane? I said, Yes, sir. I just figured that there was only the, the right lane was going to be closed, not both of them. Well, we paid twenty thousand dollars for that sign. Blah 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 blah. And I looked and I said, "Do you want me to buy the sign?" And he looked at me. I said, "I know my net's full, y'all." He said, "I said, do you want me to buy the sign?" I hadn't done anything wrong. And he just looked at me and took his flashlight and just waved and said, "Get in here!" and stopped the other people so I could get in the, the left-hand lane. And go on. I'm not going to get these coins, Emma. That's a shame. This is another uni. Oh, well. I don't know if, I don't know if I can do this or not. Nope, can't do it. thought I could open up and get rid of some other fish, but I can't. Okay, Aaron. So now I'll go back to Chattanooga with the coins. I had enough. I still had cash left over from that trip. And I had enough in there. I could have bought several signs. But I just. <laughs> he. I evidently nobody ever asked him if he wanted, to, wanted me to buy the sign. Kind of got flustered at that. I wouldn't be a smart aleck. It just. It was singular. If you if you got right lanes closed with an S plural, got no problem with that. I'd have moved over with everybody else. But right lane closed means one. Anyhow. I right, try it this way. That's two. Oh I can do it this way, okay. There we go. Is it still on there? No. Or was it two? Yep, it's still on there. How about that? <laughs> That's called cheating. Is that is that legal?
Maybe you just learned something. I never tried that before with it, with putting a fish, putting a, 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 a rod on a rod holder and getting rid of fish so I could keep the fish that was on the, hooked on the rod. <laughs> Anyhow, that's my story. Man, I, it scared me when I, that was my job there. I just figured at any time, and we, we handle a lot of, a lot of bullion. You're more than welcome. You're more than welcome. Well, I'm out of here, y'all. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Let's see if there's anybody here that we can, we can raid. What do you think? Let me get over here where I can read it better. No fishing planet? No fishing planet? I don't know why I don't leave my fishing planet there. I don't know who that is. Where's my fishing planet? There it is. There it is. We got me, <laughs> Spanish, Chinese, French, English, newbie, don't judge me. I don't know who that is. Don't know who that is. Don't know who that is. German. Don't know. I don't know who that is. Hey, Hart. Hello, Hart. You come on just so I'm fixing to get out. There's none of these people on here I know. German. Oh, well. We were going to try. I tell you, Ace, you need to make some videos. Teach us all how to fish. Ace comes in first or second or third in just about every comp or tournament or whatever fishes in. Make some videos and help us out. <laughs> Don't tell us all your secrets, just most of them. <laughs> well, anyhow, uh, thank you all for joining me th this morning, this afternoon, almost afternoon, in it? You sure are. You sure are. You really are. Proud for you. Proud for you. But you spend the time, like I say, if you spend the time and the effort. First, second, or third. You can check any comp that Ace is in. If you go back and check them, guaranteed top ten. A lot of time, first, second, or third. A lot of time put in to do that. A lot of time. But anyhow. I appreciate you for stopping by and sticking with me. Thanks for spending your time with me. God bless you and your family. Take care. Stay well. Be safe. And good Lord willing. And life doesn't get in the way. I'll be back Wednesday morning. Same bat time. Same bat channel. And we'll fish some more. Let's see. Let me see what I got here. Thank you very much. You know me. I have a good day every day. You say, ooh, I got 202 bait coins in that by, by dumping those fish where I can keep that. So that's going to give me a total of 2,383 bait coins. That's just totally awesome. What have I got here? If I got a friend request from the Fisher Eddie. Confirm. Okay. Thank you, Eddie. They left and went to White Moose Lake. See, that's the problem with a lot of a lot of beginning players. They jump around the lakes. It takes money. Don't spend any money you don't have to spend unless you're independently wealthy like me with two hundred and fifty-nine thousand. <laughs>
plus what I got in here now. What have I got in here now? 17,000. 276,000. <laughs> but anyhow, remember, P, 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 P. Practice, patience, persistence, preparedness will produce. Okay? Learn a little bit. Pass it on. That's the fisherman's way. And if you get a chance, come back and be with me. Friday, we'll have a, a giveaway for another 30 days premium. And we'll, we'll discuss that then, okay? So, uh, y'all take care. And I'll catch you next time around. Get vaccinated. The life you save may be your own or somebody you love. Or somebody you don't even know. So, uh, that's about it. Time for lunch. So stick a fork in me. I'm done. So, happy trails to you. Till we meet again. And I'll catch you later. So, y'all come back now, you hear?